Hello, bloodsuckers. I initially considered myself the wrong person to give impressions on Vampire Masquerade's Blood Hunt, specifically because I'm sick of Battle Royale games, but then I remembered that everybody else is too. Blood Hunt was worth trying out almost exclusively because it was free. Unfortunately, as of launch, players might not be able to even find a match unless they opt in to crossplay, which honestly, <laughs> with your controller versus the keyboard and mouse is like uh, making yourself a bot uh, in their lobbies. PS5 controls could use some work, um, or at least the ability to customize the inputs. And what you're, you're looking at it on screen, hour-long matchmaking issues, man. It gave me plenty of time to write this. Blood Hunt arrived today on PlayStation 5 and PC with little to no fanfare. Crossplay, yes, but Xbox and PS4, no. So no console pools, we all just playing together, or you're sitting in matchmaking. That aside, I naturally ran almost exclusively around using a melee weapon, and I feel it takes entirely too long to knock players down, considering the high risk players are having to take getting within swinging range, but... On top of the low melee damage, players can harden their skin or leap away from you because this is like a hero shooter. So different vampire classes have different abilities, allowing them skills including, but not limited to, vanishing and then appearing after a short duration, uh, being able to send out like a, a decoy that looks like them and then being able to switch positions with them. Uh, they can just get a burst of healing. Do you see what I'm talking about? So it's not a surprise that good controls might be necessary against anyone who at the very least understands their kit and how to synergize with it. The difference facing an opponent like this would be as night and day as a Fortniter who can and cannot build. This doesn't even begin to address body armor and regenerating health items that you can pick up as well and how, as you might imagine, that would compound me not being able to do damage with these weak-ass melee weapons. But that gripe is a personal impression. But I don't know why illiterate weirdos on Reddit are, are being cancerous to the people they need to populate the player base for this game. All they're asking for are their own lobbies and better controls. You have to be really out of touch to see this many people taking the time to articulate an issue and then be like, well, actually, that's not a problem for me, so I don't know why it's a problem for them. These are PC players we're talking about, like, they wouldn't have a chimp out five times worse if the controls were anything less than satisfactory. <laughs> I can't map my inputs? What about aspect ratios? I didn't intend to make comparisons to Hyperscape, which recently kind of just faded into nothingness, but I, I'm assuming that someone's going to be looking at this and thinking... It, it, it reminds them of Hyperscape, and you would not be wrong. This game has blood in the title. It thinks it's pretty cool. You know, there's a tr the Battle Pass trailer that kind of had some Blade vibes. Guns, gore, violence. But, even though you're biting and gobbling people up, you're like holding them over your head to shower in that blood. The one thing this game is entirely scared of is allowing uh, women to be attractive. <laughs> so, short hair for all the ladies, A cup titties maximum, and the shop is trying to sell skins like this. So, I, who knows what's going on. I'd, I'd rather play as a literal ironing board. If this game's joke is that you can customize your character, but you can only be this androgynous stick figure that ironically hit every branch on the way down the ugly tree. A glance at Blood Hunt subreddit makes it clear that the crossplay experience is bad enough for people to have sought out a forum and voiced their concerns. The typical player, honestly, will just shut this off before they seek any kind of social media to make their gripes known. They'll just delete it and they'll probably never come back. The experience they initially have will season this experience and instead of remembering juicy meat, they might just remember rotten flesh. Please don't let me imply there's no fun to be had. 
because honestly, it's a shame that this thing feels so married to the Battle Royale structure, which I consider a hindrance. The most fun that I had were close quarter encounters where people were letting their abilities fly, engaging multiple enemies, and there's a mechanic where you, if you're down, you can get back up if nobody messes with you, and it really allows you to turn the tide in certain scenarios. It's a shame. There's no objective-based modes, no team deathmatch, and I know it sounds negative, but this is the initial impression from an average typical gamer. This is my vibe. As a guy that really doesn't care about Battle Royale and they just keep making them, so it's like, okay, let me see what separates this one from the others. I get it, the hero-based abilities, but when people are feeling like they can't play or that the controls are fighting them. And worst of all, and I'm not gonna mince words here, you're making a vampire game that's less sexy than Fortnite. What do you do? I, I haven't seen Twilight, but I'm willing to bet that Twilight's hotter than this. How are you making, are you making, as a, as a vampire property, you have one job. And it's not to let Twilight, Dia, did Twilight have something with like an underage person? What happened? Um, Bella was 17, 16, and canonically, Edward is like a hundred and some years old. Sorry. So. That's all. That's all. Yeah. So Twilight's edgier than this game. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it had something to do with like somebody imprinting or some shit like that. But either well, way. That too. That too. What do you mean that too? Uh, in the, in the story, Native Americans that live near the vampires, um, they canonically imprint on their love for life and some of them are in relationships where they're taking care of a baby who will one day become their mate their and uh, okay, okay 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 uh, okay <laughs> oh, okay oh. oh man oh i'm so mad i'm so mad so i wanted to keep this in and i should but <sighs> listen I didn't need this to be like a, a, a double D jiggle physics stripper Asian game. Uh, but it, it would have helped to feel like they were trying to make some money with this as opposed to you get what you get when, when this comes out and, you know, people are erroring out of lobbies. It's this is this is not OK. <laughs> this feels like a beta. And when you do things like make the screen immediately fade to black almost faster than I can even get an emote out after a victory, you show how out of touch you are. You're trying to sell these emotes, right? What better time to use them than after a, a victory? I, you obscure the screen, you're quickly fading to black. Why are you doing that? Because it would be griefing. It's like, why don't you just take the competition out of the game, hand out some participation trophies, pull your pants up way past your titties, and tell everybody that, that it's naughty. You can drink the blood, but you are not to be aroused while doing it. You're all very naughty players. There will be no fun this day. The only blood will be menstruation blood but we will not talk about menstruation because it might make people who can't menstruate feel inferior and that's not what we want. Hold hands and sing Kumbaya and hug tree. And what about my body now? Mm hmm? I need pants I can pull up higher. Higher, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> that is <laughs> this. <laughs> now those are some high trousers. There is no sex to be had with me. Yo, That's what my pants say. And what do your pants back. say about you? Do you think I wanted to have sex? Look at what I'm wearing. <laughs> the pants need to reach under the boob. Yup. Under boob pants. If, <laughs> if your titties ain't in them pants then they're not high enough.